back to my channel. I am Crystal Halliday, and today we have something delicious on the menu. We're going to be making baked banana pudding. These are our, our ingredients, sugar, eggs, banana, vanilla pudding, and Nabisco vanilla wafers. Now, some people like baked banana pudding. Some people like just the uh, cold banana pudding, but I prefer the baked banana pudding because I like for my vanilla wafers to taste like cake. So, and I like it to be soft. But before we get started, like and subscribe to my channel. And of course, I'm wearing Chris Styles Fashions. This shirt is made by Chris Styles Fashions, made to fit you something simple to wear with your jeans. And we're going to get started. Okay, I didn't have the milk out, but we are going to add a cup of milk at a time and just stir it in. What I did was I added two boxes of vanilla pudding. You see how it's getting thick. So, I don't want it thick, so I'm going to add another cup of milk. And this is 2% milk. You can use whole milk if you want. You can use... 1% milk, all according to your own preference. All right, I'm going to pull it out the blender. And this is about four cups of milk I've added so far. Because I don't want it to be thick. And I pulled out the blender because I got tired of stealing it. You don't want it to be real thick. You want it like a uh, sort of on the thin side. Okay, I've cut two bananas. already and I sort of cut the bananas on a little on the thick side try to get them all the same okay so what we want to do is we're going to build the banana pudding by putting the cookies on the bottom first and really, banana pudding is really easy and so good to eat. But I prefer the baked banana pudding over the instant banana pudding. So you just continue to, to do the bottom. Once you finish building the bottom, you just put a banana on top of each cookie. Once you build the bottom and you put a banana on each one of the cookies, then you just lightly spoon over the vanilla pudding. So easy. It's just like making a lasagna. And so you'll do each layer like this. And you just start another layer. That one didn't want to break apart. And it's fine because once it bakes, it tastes just like cake. And I love baked banana pudding for that reason. That's why you want to put plenty of cookies. Do not be stingy with the cookies. And I actually prefer the Nabisco cookies over any other cookie. But some people do use the, the uh, I think they, they call it Chesapeake cookies. I've never tasted that, but it look good. And we're ending the second layer. 
So we have two layers now. We already put, oh, as you see, the vanilla pudding on the top. We're going to do our final layer. And this is the last layer. And after I put this on, I will top it with another coat, another coating of cookies. And what I did was I pulled out my little mini cookies because I had a box of minis and a box of the regular size cookies. Okay, so now we're going to make our meringue that goes on the top. That nice white fluffiness that goes on the top. So you just keep, uh, let me turn it down a little bit. You keep stirring it, well not stirring it, blending it and blending it until it's nice and fluffy. Add a little sugar at a time. Now you don't want to add too much sugar because when you bake it, it'll make it crunchy. And you don't want it crunchy, you want it pillowy. And you see how fluffy it's getting? It's almost done. And we're just going to put the topping right on there. Now, I put the meringue on there, and I preheated the oven to 350, and we're going to put it in the oven just enough to brown the top. Once the top browns, it is done. Okay, it is ready. Look at that. So beautiful. And what we're going to do, we're going to let it cool off. And here you have it. We had it in the refrigerator. I put it in the refrigerator a couple hours, two hours, two and a half hours. And now it's ready, nice and cold. And here we have it. All right. So, the best part, let's take a little bit of it. See the banana? Cookie. The cookie part is my favorite part. I like the meringue part too. Okay. And of course, even though it's dessert, Lord, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm. <laughs> then this is something really good to make especially since a lot of people are shut in because of the coronavirus so of course now hopefully we don't all get fat being in the house but this is something that'll make you really happy being in the house now when it comes down to the meringue Do not put too much sugar in it. 
because if you do it won't be it'll be crunchy and you want it to remain soft And this is really a simple dish to make that is always delicious and easy. And that's what we want. We want easy. And I always say, thank you for tuning in. I am Crystal Holiday. And as always, as always, be blessed.